Everyone starting with a stack of 10,000 chips. Let's light this candle. Have you seen this feature, guys, where I can do this? I'm going to do this to John Hamm. Wait oh, are you going to do a thing? You're going to throw me a something. tissue? Go on, hey. Yeah. Wait. You can send something. Well, oh, there we yeah, go. I like, yeah. I like that a lot. That's really fun. <laughs> I think we should See, uh, I'm, do that for the yeah, whole that's, podcast. That's going to get really irritating in about five minutes. <laughs> I've got one more of those I'll just do real quick. There we go. The, uh, the throwing the, the, the horseshoe at somebody, not as a gesture of good luck, but as a gesture of pain. Uh, what, what's cool is they replenish, so you can just go ahead and just do it again after, after a few seconds. Yeah, you never have, you never have well, to I don't stop. understand it. How you do you, never how run do you out unlock out. the other ones? Um, oh, yeah. There, there is, there's like a special level like you can't get to them. I don't know what you have to do no. to earn I think you have to win certain Grand Prix in Mario Kart to unlock them. Yeah. How do you how do you Seems how do like you throw your hot, hot cocoa? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Josh, nice hand. Oh, did you show had, your hand? Thanks, sexy. I had an eight, Josh. How did you see that, Mike? The, you showed, showed it at the. Also, Josh and I are in the same room, so I can see his cards. Yeah, I can tell. It's uh, <laughs> they look very similar. You guys are like playing face awesome to face. It's show, but it happens happens really fast, right? Hey, Ham, can you can you do that thing where you just wipe my nose with the tissue again? Do that thing with the uh, what button is that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> wipe your eyes, drowning in tears. Oh, you're you're that crying. One's you're crying really a lot. I gotta say, I like that one. Crying a yeah. lot for uh, for winning a hand. That's. A, <laughs> Seems like an overreaction. Oh, tears, tears, tears of joy. I know. No, Don. Big, big bass. No. I'm not being a bully. Like, it feels like ten minutes, but it's only been four. I had aces. I had aces. You did. It was a good bet. Yeah. I, had I don't know how to help. show my hand though. How do you show your hand? I don't know uh, if that's an option. Uh, it, there should be a, a thing question. that comes up at the end. Yeah, I know. Mine didn't come up. Maybe you have to click on a thing. Like a... I, I would have showed. I would have showed. Hank, can you show your hand right now? <laughs> See, that would be... That would be... I'd be uh, giving too much... That's a suspicious bet. Good call. Oh, look at that. No table talk. What the heck was the table talk? What are you, uh, his coach? <laughs> yeah, I heard good call. Nobody. nobody. <laughs> That's a suspicious. <laughs> From what I know about Hank's play, I'd call there, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, my goodness. Uh, well, no, think about it. And, and, and plus, he looks like the inside ja album cover jacket of Sergeant Pepper's. So to add a, a special. <laughs> <laughs> Michael always shows up. I don't mean to be calling out my play. Black, is that uh, from Trunk, Drunk History, that photo? It's from uh, another period TV show that I did. That uh, Yeah, that was an important hand. Ten fake cents. Have you guys been playing a lot of poker in this uh, pandemic? Yes. Michael, you, yeah. Michael, Sarah, you have, yes? 
Yeah, I play in a, a tournament with Joe that, that happens a couple times a week that I got my father into also. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good group. Are you also like on a Zoom like this when you play? Or you yeah, just... we do a Zoom. Yeah, that's kind of the whole, you know, how it started, I think, is just people were super lonely and just wanted to have some social interaction. Right. What app do you usually play on if it's not Poker Stars? Uh, no, it is Poker Stars. We do, we do, we do oh, use Poker Stars. Poker Stars. Yeah, a big fan of it. Yeah, that's how I know all about this kind of thing. This the fuck this type sir? this type of activity. No, I I didn't mean anything by that. I was just just demonstrating that I know how to do that kind of thing. <laughs> Man, there's yeah. emojis flying left and right here. <laughs> You're, you're really Very fast accurate. with it. No, I think it's Very glitching accurate. out. <laughs> I mean, you're really fast with <laughs> it's it. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh, can you do it to yourself? Oh, that would be great if you could self-immolate. <laughs> What's cool is that I makes it really fun, whereas it would be boring without them. Mine, mine got turned off. <laughs> Bunch of fucking eight year olds. I love it. Great. That's now great. I'm doing it. Guys, we got some background yes. noise coming. Oh, so I got him. I sent you a link to his Pinterest <laughs> What's going on? Somebody watching porn? What's happening on this? What is that? Oh, it's a nice time Mike. Who's that? Yes. Michael, what the hell? I'm on with some people you know. I'm doing the bigger size on that jacket. That sounds good. Who's... We don't John. care about the bigger size in the jacket. John? We can't really meet ourselves, can we? No, not on this. Yeah, well, no, you can. Down. Yeah, see, there's a mute button. Down. That's Michael. Michael, who? There's, oh, a, mute, you, there's a mute button oh. on the thing if you hover <laughs> over the... Hi, Martha. Okay. Hey, Martha. Oh, I'm muted, muted, Michael. Michael, you're muted now. You were not they muted before. Oh, I figured out how to mute. Michael, can, Michael, yeah, but, Michael, Michael, can go you ahead do me a and, favor uh, and just can you give this to give us to Martha? Look at that, a homemade pie. Give her that. Whoa. Give wow. her that. Maybe give her that. Wow. Give her one of that tissue. Also, Michael, turn your garbage disposal back on because that was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? I, wish I, had I don't have. Up. I don't have garbage disposal money. We we dispose <laughs> of our garbage by hand here. Hand disposal. <laughs> Just hand shredding. You don't have disposable garbage yeah. disposal money. <laughs> Who's in this crazy hand? All right. John and Josh. Josh and John. Classic case of John and Josh. Yeah. A classic John and Josh. Squeeze play. So I have certain uh, questions as, as sor sort of ho as player host. You've heard of player coaches? When was the last like player coach in the NBA? I feel like there was one recently, wasn't there? In the NBA. Was there? Tyron Lou. But he wasn't coaching while he was playing. No. Did Jason that Jason Kidd didn't do that either, right? He didn't coach while he was playing. I feel like he might have. That might have that rings a bell. Like in I think he might have. In Phoenix? In Phoenix or Jersey or Dallas or In Jersey he definitely wasn't playing. Boy, that last year he played for the Knicks. That last year the Knicks got in the playoffs. He he played really well. He's great. Um, he's a good dude. Well, too. so is he? I I've, I've never met him. Yeah, he's a good uh, dude. So he, here's a, here's a, a little uh, conversation. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Don. No, no, I was saying nothing. I'm just saying he's a good dude. Here's a little conversation starter that. Uh, I threw out there on a tweet one day 
and really, uh, I'm not going to say I broke the internet, but it caused a lot of conversation. Um, most folks would agree that, whoa, nice hand. Um, Thank you. That greatest classic rock band is like between Led Zeppelin. Uh, yeah, Led Zeppelin, Stones, and Beatles. Uh, what would you say right. is the greatest American rock and roll band? And I don't like. I don't include. I don't. I don't include like Springsteen or Tom Petty or Prince, which I would consider singer songwriters really primarily, and secondary to their greatest band. in terms of what. In anything you like, uh, you know. Like so, so Hank, I mean, you mean like the band? I mean the band, Bob Dylan, the band. The band is pretty that would bad. count. After Rusted Root. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, that was implied in my question. It's not included. Like Russia, the, Root, which we would all agree. I'm going to say the Beastie be, Boys. Beastie Boys, Beastie yeah. Boys, the Beach Boys. I don't or know if Beach I consider them rock and roll band, though. That's not probably rock. everybody would say Beach Boys, probably, but that's not rock. What is that? Pop? What is that? It's rock. Is I that mean, rock? I mean, no, I mean that, that counts. Beastie They're Boys. Just, Beastie Boys did a lot of rock. They did. I heard that that got mentioned a lot. There was one sort of clear winner from the internet that I don't know that I agree with. Yeah, who was? And there's one. The clear who winner on the in, well, I don't want to get. I don't want to tell you it yet until I hear. Uh, hear. Okay, so don't. Is that all your thoughts? Uh, let me think. Do like studio studio bands count? You know, like ses session bands. CCR. Like the, uh, there's I mean, like the, all those guys the from Sax Records, you know. Like the uh, Booker T and the MGs, you know, that played on good all one. these great records, you know, like Otis Redding records and everybody that yeah, came from that one. time there. They're no, it good. was more in terms of like, you it's know, be a mainstream, band. sold them, yeah, sold the most albums or you would so consider like the greatest. So like Van Halen. Yeah, like Van Halen. Exactly. Van Halen would be a perfectly acceptable. Like a big mission. stadium rock band that had a long right. career with a bunch of big hits. Yeah, and uh, their and their own tequila brand, Kiss. It wasn't clear how we Kiss. defined R. E. M. Band. But... Yes, these are good. Submissions. Again, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I haven't heard one better than Rusted Root. So, <laughs> what is Rusted Root? <laughs> they had one hit in the nineties. It, it was terrible. They're like, I would like uh, to I don't even know was... reach out yeah. your hand. Have a hand, have a hand, my way. Send me on my way was the name of the song. <laughs> They're the uh, yes, the Airsats version of Huba Stank. <laughs> the Pretenders should be in the conversation. I yeah, I should love sure. the Pretenders. I agree. Pixies. Pixies are good. Is Fleetwood Pixies? Mac? Is that Definitely. considered an American oh, yeah, band? Mac. No. Oh, good no. question. Right. A lot of Brits. All, well, a lot of Brits. Yeah, in that they're, they're like yeah. the half Brits. Yeah. So no, that. But that's the only reason why not. Otherwise, I would. I oh, would the half Brits. They're, how about uh, the half Tom, Brits? They're pretty good. Tom. Tom Petty and the uh, and the uh, Heart 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 Tom Petty's. Yeah, that's a strong one. I, I yes, I would put I would put him as my favorite. Although I would consider him more of a singer songwriter than a band. Since well, he was but really they had the, the Heartbreakers. Drive. I mean, yeah, the same like Springsteen and the E Street Band. I mean, it, it, they're a band, but it's really Springsteen that's creating the whole thing. Uh, same with Tom Petty. Same with Prince. Like Prince and Revolution is really just Prince. Um, otherwise, I would What about I might the Great Print. Dead, who I don't love, but uh, certainly had a hell of a career? It's okay, Michael. Yes, you can say you love the Grateful Dead. It's not a big thing. Like no, no one's going to judge you're not, you. You're not, I don't think you. I don't think you heard me. I, I, I said I don't love them. I adore them. It's different. It's okay. They're fine. Yeah, yeah. You worship them. I don't like any of these answers, by the way. Yeah. My personal it's favorite. Cool, what I would have. What I would have gone with is the Doors. You know, the Doors, personally. Oh no! I think, no, no. I think that they no? they had their okay. time and place, but I don't think that they hold up so well. I have a question. Me either. As a big fan is, in the old days. Is this is this almost over? Are we? How close are we to being done? <laughs> the, the poker session or the conversation about American band? Yeah, the poker or the conversation? Yes, yes. Both? 
<laughs> sure. That's we can either one. happily we can blind you off, Don. If, uh, if like. <laughs> I mean, Neil Neil Young and Crazy Horse. I mean, but you he's know, Canadian. One, Neil Young's Canadian. Would, well, he's Canadian. He's Canadian, though, Canadian and I also would I would put I him as singer songwriter. I also I liked Aerosmith. Also, yeah, more. that's true. <laughs> he's not around. <laughs> Are we, co- are we counting uh, Hannah Montana as a solo act? <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> okay, that's she's fair. coming back, guys. She's going to come back strong. Hannah Montana is. Mm-hmm. She's going to. She she wants to re- bring that character back. She said. <laughs> Good. I'm tech avail. Hey. That sounds real. <laughs> sounds like you're actually a reporting factual. Uh, no, I am. I'm actually telling the truth. Um. Do you know what the internet saw as the greatest American? Just so I can get off this. Would you like to know what the internet saw consensus-wise as the greatest American man? Well, there's sure. also the Eagles. Yeah, we haven't said we haven't we haven't there said it is, the Eagles. The Eagles. Oh. It was the Eagles. Joe Stapleton right. said the Eagles, and I mentioned that, but I was being ignored because Oh. Because who it was said that? Joe Stapleton. That. Who's talking? Who's talking? That's Michael Michael Ian, Ian Joe Stapleton through Michael Ian Black. Oh, got it. Through his puppet, Michael Ian Black. I'm actually looking through. I'm trying to look through my phone right now and think about bands that. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's tricky. John's never looked more vibrant than right now. <laughs> That's really considerate hey, Hank, to leave the uh, Hank. cut out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Without giving <laughs> away who who the internet picked, can you give us just like five of them so we can debate those five? Because I'm. I, I'm actually, I just really announced it. Really <laughs> he literally, yeah, he, he literally just gave it away. We got a really good nice to to He did. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. <laughs> I, it, it was, was the Eagles. Eagles. <laughs> the Eagles. That's a good pick. But weirdly, it was the Philadelphia Eagles, which is. <laughs> it is weird. That is weird. Um, How about that Jets game this weekend? Unbelievable! Oh I was. I'm a Jet fan, which means I'm actively rooting on Suicide for Watch the Jets every week. <laughs> well, yeah, that for years. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but I'm actively rooting against the Jets uh, every week, right. so we get Trevor. Lawrence. So they can get a pick, and yeah. that game was much too exciting. Do you think they threw that game? I don't know. It looked like they were trying. Dumb, yeah. awful, awful call that should never have been called. And later in the day, there was the exact same thing, and the and the other team played it like a normal team would, and they won. Yeah, why would you yeah. blitz in that sort of? That's well, they fired Greg Williams not, today. Not only blitz, you know they, yeah. they really, yeah. they really. Whoa. They blitzed yeah, the house. It was a zero coverage yeah, they, blitz. They, 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 they sent sent yeah. the house. How could you possibly go zero coverage on? Don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled. You know, the only right. thing yeah, that hurts you is a touchdown, <laughs> but helps them too because now you get your pick. But now they and get their pick. True, I guess. Greg Williams, but, if, if the Jets go they, on sixteen, even though he's not not going to see through this season, he will be the only. He will have twice. Oh, he got fired this morning. He got fired this morning. Yeah, he got yeah. fired today. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I'm just so really Greg glad Williams they're keeping did, Gates right? around. Yeah. Yeah, Greg Williams got fired. I am also tech avail for that. I can't believe Gates still has a job. <laughs> I coach for the Jets. I would love. I would love to see the Jets hire Michael Ian Black as defensive coordinator. I obviously wouldn't do any worse. You can't. You would not. He would win every press conference. As the, uh, defensive literally, <laughs> literally, your call in that situation, Mike, would have been like, I don't know, guys, just do what you want, and they would have won the game. <laughs> I wouldn't have realized I was supposed to make a call in that situation. I wouldn't have been paying attention to the game. <laughs> you'd be I don't really want to get defensive. You'd be like, why are you asking me? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Go ask I'm him. Just gonna say, I just got I'm here. Gonna say, <laughs> ride if I'm up the play. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to what I know. <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to wear the headset and the jersey. I don't. Why are you talking to me? I'll be honest. I'm literally here for the soft pretzels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go do a mouthful of soft pretzel and mustard. What? Do what? I don't know. Uh, go play defense. Go play go defense. Have fun. Guys, have fun. Guys, 
Have fun. Have fun. If we're not having fun, what are we even doing here? We're we doing here? 12. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> fun. Ultimately, this doesn't Hammond. matter. You don't yeah. get paid per <laughs> win. <laughs> John, you're a St. Louis guy, correct? Yes. Is it obvious? So who do you root for in football? What what happens? Jeez. In baseball, oh, uh, you're awesome. I don't root for anybody, really. because uh, Well, I guess I kind of root for the Chiefs now. They're hard to yeah. not root for. Right. Must be nice being able to root for a team that actually wins. I wonder, I wonder what that's yeah, like. But, well, the – the yeah. Chiefs were heartbreakers <laughs> for years. I mean, they were the classic team that would go oh, yeah. eleven and five oh, and yeah. then flame out in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. The Alex Smith Chiefs. Mahomes is just—he's amazing. amazing. It's another. I mean, even when he's he has amazing. a bad game, like I don't know if you guys watched last night, he had a pretty pretty off game. Still, it was the outcome was never in doubt. Yeah, exactly. They have so many weapons. Kelsey, it's just ridiculous. The whole team is crazy. And Sammy Watkins, who was number one on Buffalo a couple of years back, is their third guy. Yeah. Did has did Le'Veon play? What are you all? chasing, no, I didn't, I didn't Hank? He what getting, are you chasing? Yeah, he played. He played. Yeah, because uh, Edward Solaire was out with sniffles. He had the possible COVID. Hey. Maybe's. Oh, dear. Is there a thing that you give yourself more time? I guess I, I got a oh, time bank. You can always time rebuy. Wait, what? I know, oh, I'm going to have to. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that filthy hand. Ooh, wow. Big slizzle. Wow, wow, wow. How do you extend your time? Yeah, how do you do I'm, that? Just oh, you just get to. it. Hank, does it just rebuy you automatically, or do you have to do that? It offers you the option automatically. Be sad to say no. You get a lease with an <laughs> option to rebuy. No, thank you. I'm good. Get what I came for. Wow. Oh shit! The check raise. Somebody's pissed. Is that legal? <laughs> we can check raise. We could get pissed. <laughs> I know, Remember, whoever, who wow. here, who wow. played in Norby Walker's game? Yes, I played in it. I, I used to. Remember, you couldn't check raise in his game. He didn't like that. Really? Never too big. <laughs> never too big. Oh, wow. never, too big. never too big. Never, never too big. Every golden <laughs> gloves, every golden gloves, his son would come up and hand you the envelope. Never too big, dude. Huh? I saw, Which I felt saw him vaguely go at like his a threat. Son. Yeah, <laughs> I saw him go at his son in the kitchen one time for daring to interrupt the game. Oh, it was. I saw a different side of Norby that night. That's what I did to my wife when I when I was muted. Yeah. Oh, because she brought in the pie. She brought in the pie. How dare her! Never too Don't big. Never too big to Never say too hello. Big. Have you guys, has everybody here played in Norby Walter's game? I don't know this man. No. Uh, okay. Norby oh, was man. a publicist from like the 70s. And he's, I guess he's either a member of the Hollywood Foreign Press or adjacent. Yes. No, no, he's adjacent. And he would have the Night of a Thousand Stars that he's. Right, right, Remember right. Remember that right. was always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, he would host a, a very low stakes game. Yeah, Harvey yeah. Corman, like uh, Shields and Yarnell would be in the group. Was it stud? No, it's, no. What did we play? We play. We played Hold'em, right? Yeah. yeah it was kind of. I feel like it was the. It was rotated. Yeah. Mm. The night I played, it was Rod Steiger. Yeah, Rod Steiger was always in that game. Uh, Don yes. DeLuise. Um, wow. Yes. 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 That sounds amazing. Harvey Corman. Oh, my God. I didn't have Harvey. So was Harvey there? Yeah. Oh, uh, um, I came, uh, who was the singer? I played with Harvey Corman Jerry a couple Vail, times. Jerry Vale. Um, yeah. Ed oh, Marinero. Dick Van Dyke. Ed Marinero. 
Yeah, yeah, like that. It's always like that. Wow. Some amazing people. I came in much later. I had Kevin Sorbo and Angie Harmon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rod Steiger and Jerry Vale got very angry Rod at each other. Rod Steiger. Very angry at each other. That sounds so entertaining. The Marlon, the Marlon Brando stories that Steiger would tell, he, the on the mm. waterfront stories were like, oh yeah, wow, yeah, like he was very upset. That he like was what would not he say with Marlon Brando? Well, he had a problem because I think Marlon didn't do his off camera. He never did <laughs> Steiger's off camera, okay. and that scene in the in the cab wow. when he was saying, you know, that whole big yeah. major scene at the end, he said he wasn't there oh. for his side. He left. That's wow. amazing. Wow. That's a long time to hold a grudge about that. Oh, yeah. He was <laughs> so very It does feel like wasted it. energy, Sarah. You're right. Yeah. Brando, <laughs> a long time. Brando, that's Brando, Brando. He wouldn't do my off camera. <laughs> <laughs> and he seemed that's as cool. upset as I imagine he was that <laughs> night. It's just like the movie worked out. It's all good. Yeah. Worked out for everybody. But he didn't show. <laughs> he didn't show. When, uh, you know when, 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 when Steiger pulls the gun on Brando in, in the back of the cab, you know, yeah, in that did, scene? It, that was, right. That was like. Yeah, not Brando scripted, right, not didn't want him to do that. And they had right. agreed, like, Ely, he, said, he, he said to Ely Kazan, I, I don't think he should pull the gun. It, it should be between the brothers psychologically, not about a gun or whatever. Mm. And so I guess on one take, obviously, Kazan said to Rod Steiger, pull the gun on this one. And Ooh. supposedly, like Brando's reaction is so great, and it's his actual—it's Brando's actual reaction to being annoyed to, to that seeing the gun. The, the gun came back <laughs> in, yeah. Then, then, then acting, you know. <laughs> I hope that's true. I don't like this slowly getting chipped away thing that's happening to me. It, it just happened to me. Uh, why don't you go my route and just dump all your chips off at once? Yeah, but I mean, Don, don't bet 350 on a thing. I just feel oh. like I was taken advantage of somehow. <laughs> Where's my whoa, dog? Has whoa. anyone seen my dog? <laughs> <laughs> on your spot. What do you say to him? On your on spot. Your spot. Yeah, on your spot. What's your dog's <laughs> name? Your spot. Uh, Murphy. He is a puppy. He's eight months old and he weighs 67 pounds. Woo. Wow, Jesus. Wow. Lar large, uh, half Mastiff, half Rottweiler. All adorable. Uh, wow. you're, not, you're not messing around over there. Well, it, he was a rescue, so I didn't yeah. know. And then the, the, the test came back, and it was like, oh, your dog's going to be anywhere from 90 to 140 pounds. <laughs> and went, would you like oh, us to put of... it down now, or would you like <laughs> <laughs> Here's the back wheels it's going to need in uh, six years. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice move though. Getting getting the pet during the pandemic, isn't it? Definitely, we got two kittens. It it brightened up our house a lot. Did you get them early in the run or late? About halfway in the summer. Because I feel like I waited too long. I got I got the dog, and then immediately went and go. I went and did a movie with Don Cheadle, and then yeah. uh, I had to be gone for a month. Oh, remind me who Don Cheadle is. <laughs> I'm like I'm on one of these panels. Which panel is which panel is, is Don Cheadle? That's going to be for you to figure out. <laughs> At home. At home. The home version. Which one is Don Cheadle? <laughs> Hi. It's like one of those ca one of those captcha <laughs> things when you have to prove you're not a robot. <laughs> Pick all the squares with <laughs> Don Cheadle yeah. in it. Captcha. That's <laughs> <laughs> when you know you made it. If, if any targeted person Don would Cheadle. know who you are. By the way, am I the only person who always feels like they get those tests wrong? Like when they're like, pick out all the things with bridges in them. And you're like, I don't know. Is that, is that a bridge? Is that a trestle? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, they make them yeah, really obtuse. So technical. <laughs> Super obtuse. It's like, that's a part of a bridge. It's, 
It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of, it's, I don't, is oh. an on-ramp a bridge? I don't know. Sorry, you're a robot. <laughs> exactly. Dumb robot. Uh, I was going to say, does anybody remember the movie? I think it was the Andromeda Strain. Mm -hmm. Sure. Where mm -hmm. the movie starts, where the guy picks up the phone, and it's like, this is the federal government speaking. You have, like, 25 minutes to get out of your house. or some, like, awful thing. I remember watching that when I was a kid and being like, anytime any recorded message came on the phone unwanted, I would get super freaked out. <laughs> and now it happens all the time with, like, robocalls yeah. on your cell, where it's like, Hi, if you don't call back, your social security number is, you know, the, all the bullshit things that they do. But I get very triggered. Yeah, that one's real. That one, that one actually is real, John. So if you didn't respond to that. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. That, don't, don't dodge yeah, you those don't, calls. You don't want to mess with that one. <laughs> I think I folded the winning hand. Ace, ace 10. Four tens? Did you have four tens? No, I had ten ten. And I just I don't four know, tens would have been a bad problem. I was thinking about the Andromeda strain and I <laughs> At one point I was second. Now I'm fifth. I'm still okay. way I'm in the I'm, I'm sixth. The Sorry. Wait, how am I how am I in sixth? Oh no, but I think I'm actually But I think I'm ahead of you technically, right, Hank? Does it count? Because you didn't like oh, double it up I'm again, minus, right? I'm minus eight. I'm minus nine thousand. Oh, I see. Because you rebought. Yeah. I'm the only one who have rebought so far. Still don't like having the smallest stack. Hey guys, everyone's everyone's here, and we're just all here. It does you don't have to compare yeah, stacks? Feel good about yourself. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I kind of wish we could throw these beverages. I know. <laughs> or do something, interact with them in some way. Get on that <laughs> poker stars. Put a straw in. Oh, that is quite flop. the flop. Big flop. Quite the flop. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Who was that guy, Hank? I know you know. Yes. Uh, his name was um, Frank Nelson. Frank <laughs> and he was always like, ooh, Mrs. Finstone. He, he was yeah, always yeah. like that. <laughs> I'm the only caterer in town. He, I think mm, he told me. Ooh, yes. Mm, yes. Yeah. Ugh, stop calling these bets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you have oh six goodness. if you have six uh Wow Yeah. Ouch. Boy. Don, you keep running into me, even in the stupid practice thing and now and that. I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god. Something just John, that's a that's a puppy? No, that's Mike's dog. <laughs> Oh. oh, that was Good your dog. God. That was your wolf <laughs> house. No, that was a garbage truck hitting my house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He turns Sorry over. Sorry about that, Don. Now it's set. Set. He turns over his Michael, set. Michael, Sarah. Turned into a boat in the on, end. I was yeah. on the phone with, uh, with Greg uh, Matola, who says hello. Oh, that's cool, man. You guys are working together, right? We are indeed, yeah. Down that's the road, great. A piece, Greg's but... the greatest. Yeah, tell Greg I said hello. I will. Yeah. Kiss your sister. <laughs> Hank, are you still running a weekly game in uh, in the city? 
I don't. Or I guess yeah, not. I mean, yes. You know, I yes. I mean, we had that game has turned into like a a Zoom game, much like this one. They play it like four times a week. I only end up playing like every other week. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to join, Don's played once. Michael used to play a bunch. It's Michael fun. knows all those guys. Yeah, I might be coming back. I just, Is it the uh, same crowd? I've been in the poker hospital. It's not the same guys as L.A. Um, it's this New York contingency. That we, most of us have been playing together for like at least a decade. It's a fun game. I mean, I remember going. I remember going to your house in L.A. Game. like back in two thousand four or five or something like that. Really, Michael? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going to lead into me after I bet. But I have a, I have a version of it. But you don't have it. Now I do. What about now? Mrs. Oh. Go, Michael. Show, show it. Wow. How do I show? Uh, it's I had ace, queen of club. Tune into the yeah, broadcast. I had, I had ace, jack. I had ace, jack. Wow. I was going all the way with that shit. It pops up. Wow, Damn. I'm really sucking hind tit. Me too, man. It's bad. I think you guys are doing great, and I'm proud of all of you. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. No. We're done, right? it's, just like, it's just like when I coached the Jets. It was all about having fun. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, not for nothing, Mike, you do kind of have a coachy look happening with the headset and the sweatshirt. <laughs> just start calling it. And it's on the Not for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, put the so clipboard in clip your mouth. Oh, <laughs> Get your screaming. Double Zebra X five six 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 four three. <laughs> oh God, we have be fun. Out, be Don't outraged. <laughs> the Josh with the men rays. Did you, uh, John and John and Don? Did you guys really just work together on something? We, we did. did. What did you do? We did. We did a movie in Detroit. Was it all? Was it acting? Is that what you guys were doing? Or <laughs> yeah, so we acted all acting bit. based stuff. <laughs> all, mostly acting based. Um, some of my did. favorite stuff that you guys do is your acting. <laughs> oh man, that's so nice. Thank you. Yeah, we did no, golf I think, I think, a couple times together too, which was nice. That's not my we favorite did some stuff golfing. that you guys do. We well, got some golfing. Kind of, it's acting, but it's just with a stick in your hand. Stick acting. Stacking. Do you call. guys? Do you guys get complimented? <laughs> do you guys get complimented by your family about your acting in this way? I loved your <laughs> facial expressions. I loved all your facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh. my, my favorite. My favorite one is this. Like, I liked it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I thought yeah. you were good. Yeah. <laughs> no. My cousin, I saw that movie on the airplane. I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I once got this review. I loved your suits. I loved your suits and I loved your hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as it went for me, but Yeah. Thanks, Aunt Pat. So, hey, has anybody done a, ju a virtual junket yet, by the way? Yes. No. Kind of. Yes. How, yes. Are they awful? I have them yeah. all week. It sounds like it'd be yes. better than a normal one, though. I mean, at least you're at home and like you could. They, they are better than a normal one because you true. can like fake that you have you know problems with your internet and just. Yeah, like, oh stop. shit! I, I, shit! Again, again, again. This hand just got out of hand. Again, again. I have aces. Wow. I'm gonna raise with aces. You're, you've turned quickly into my least favorite person on a <laughs> poker stars game. I, re I really did. I really did have aces. I believe you. I would love if you didn't, and we'll, and we'll find out. I would never lie in <laughs> poker. I never lie in poker either. Like, no, I really did. Um, what what was the movie, fellas? In oh, Detroit. Uh, it's what's it called now? Now no it's called sudden, no <laughs> sudden move. No Sudden Move. It was called Kill Switch. Now it's called No Sudden Move. Uh, Steven Soderbergh for HBO Max, starring Don, myself, Benicio Del Toro, David Harbour, Amy Simons. Who am I forgetting? 
Me, I was in it. I had a very big part in it. No, Michael, you were not in it. No, Michael, that was, was not, I not you. in it. No, you were not in it. Uh, you did, and you didn't even get cut. Yeah, Bill Duke. Um, no Jupe. No Jupe. Jupe. Young and talented. Yeah, good times. The rap group Young and Talented are in it as well. Young and talented. Sisters with voices uh, make a. Uh, <laughs> they're in there for a minute. Just a hot minute. They walk through, but they're. They sound amazing. Yeah. So it's like a jukebox musical kind of thing? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> What's the matter? They couldn't put together a cast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. I, I, I play kind of fun. a rap stallion, an up and coming record producer. Hmm. Damn it. Oh, nice hand. Ooh. Wow. That's the kind of hand I want to have. There you go. Take that, coach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, calling that hand was like playing a, a, a zero to coverage rush <laughs> in the last play of the game there. <laughs> Completely. Anybody else hungry? Did everybody eat breakfast? I didn't. I've been drinking I'm coffee. Hungry. God, I need some food. It's the middle of the afternoon here for people on the correct coast. The <laughs> real lunch? Coast. Did you have lunch? You had lunch yet? I did. Yes, I personally Ooh, did. I say I might. Needed that. Thank you. Almost back to even. I probably could have bet you out of that hand, huh? On the river. Possibly. I thought I was ahead until the river. But I might have called anyway, out of sadness. <laughs> the literal crying call? Yeah. The depressed call? I'm just gonna keep my new my newly acquired chips for a little bit. Oh, what did you show? Ten cents. All right, here's my next little conversation starter question since the last one went so great. Um, <laughs> the Eagles. For <laughs> Which is also the answer to a football question. The best bird, the most popular bird. <laughs> All of the answers of the are Eagles. Most proud of in this great country of ours. Uh, <laughs> the Eagles. <laughs> Animal you are most frightened of. <laughs> the Eagles. <laughs> squirrel. The squirrel and animal. Um, <laughs> First, uh, first celebrity crush. Do you remember having a crush on when you were when you were young on Tiffany Amber Thiessen? Really? Mm. Is that correct? That yeah. Accurate? Yeah. Well, I was like the Saved by the Bell like generation, right? Right in the pocket. Yes. She kind of blew all of us. Hands down, Farrah Fawcett. Oh, me too. Like the whole Charlie's Angels contingency. I would just rotate yeah. when out. When you say hands down, do you mean down your pants? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hand down my pants. Charlie's <laughs> angel. Means. That is exactly what he means. I never knew that's what that meant. Yeah, that's what it yeah, means. Yeah, hands down. <laughs> that's how you do it? That's how you do it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't, what am I doing wrong? I'm sorry. I, I thought it was I'll the first show you offline. No, we'll show you offline. Yeah, that's – yeah, it's – that shouldn't be how you do it. <laughs> I might have – I would also, I would Sometimes say Diane one Sawyer. And one and back. It's a random one, I know. That's oh, like Sawyer, that's really. Actually wow. good. <laughs> Jennifer yeah. Beals. As long as I'm like you're just trying to sound cool. Jennifer Beals, good answer. Will Flashdance no, actually? Much, that's much, Ooh, that's much flash older. Dance for that's sure. much older. But that's older, right? Yeah. That's, you're talking about like young, young. Leslie Phoebe Uggams. Kate. Leslie Uggams. Ooh. She's still alive, right? 
Mm. Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Decisions, decisions. Oh. It's a All strong right. bet. The thing, the thing is, is so is loud. Bet. Bet. Uh, I bet you had an ace. Did you yeah. he, he showed it. Ace. He didn't want... He did not want to f around with our flesh draws. No, I did. no thanks. Although it would have been nice to have one of you flushes run into a full house. Uh, Hank, you said fair faucet. Josh, you said uh, Diane Sawyer, personal friend. No worries, I'll give her a call. Uh, Black, what was yours? You're muted, by the way. Uh, uh, probably Molly Ringwald. Very cool. That's like, pretty that's a pink good era Molly? Like, what, what was the, what was the piece of entertainment that, probably, that, that drew you in there? It was probably Breakfast Club first. That's yeah, yeah. I saw first. Wasn't 16 Candles first? I don't know, but that, I think Breakfast Club was the first one I saw. They were all around the same time. Nice hand, Mike. That's fair. What, what happened, John? You were you were like King John, and now you're like medium. John. Just, just, so, just so Michael, John. sorry, you're like you're like plus seven. Is that right, Michael? You haven't bought in again, right? No, I haven't bought, bought in. No, so you're like plus seven. And Michael Black, plus you're seven. like plus four. I'm trying to maintain. Well, I was. Now I just made a big bet, so we'll see. Right. The only guys who have bought bet. in are me and Don. Correct? Yeah, I rebought. I'm down. <laughs> But I'm repowering with yogurt, and it's going to change everything. Oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I might have to do that myself. Repower with yogurt? Nice hand. Yeah, yeah. Nice just hand. with yogurt. Re I'm going to repower with yogurt. Do it, man. That's <laughs> what all the kids are doing these days. It's all the rage. He's left his, uh, oh, he's got his St. Louis Cardinals uh, stand up. Can I change yeah, my seat going position and not be to the left of Mike all night? Too late for that. Let me fold on the button with the something. ship has sailed. I guess it has. It didn't make you do anything. That's true, Hank. It did not. I had four queens in that hand, so. It's weird. I would actually better as the coach of the Jets. <laughs> Defensive coordinator. Whatever. <clears throat> wow. Michael just, uh, Mr. Black just, uh, I think he just pooped right in his chair. You got one of those poop chairs? <laughs> you got one of those poop chairs. <laughs> yeah. You got one of those uh, poop chairs, Mike? Yeah, it's called a chamber pot, and I have one. <laughs> I did, we, we just call it a toilet in our house. No, toilets require plumbing. This we don't have that. <laughs> oh, this, I'm eating. This yogurt, doesn't need man. that. <laughs> That's so Connecticut. Chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, I real I'm not just a blowing smoke. I really am binging. Mad Men, as we speak. Hey, I'm uh, in that. In yeah, you are. You're heavily <laughs> featured. Heavily. Like, they really... They... Uh, was that was in your contract that, um, yeah, that uh, you'd have to work a lot. Because Sag they really... Do a lot, yeah. <laughs> Just do it for the dental. You should join that thing. We don't even call it them in our house. Three hundred dollar pot. Uh, yeah, it's not a big pot. Oh, you're in Apple. a pot. Sorry, I'm distracting. In your big pot. Okay, guys, you probably noticed that we've reached the first break. Lots for us to talk about, but why don't we continue the Mad Men chat first? Yeah, John, 
I thought Mad Men was good. I liked it. Me too. And I also liked the cameo appearances from numerous dogs during that session. But most importantly, Michael Ian Black, we need to know what is in the pie. It's a, uh, a Dutch apple crumble pie. It is a Food Network recipe that has been sitting on our counter for weeks with my wife saying, I'm going to make this pie. And then today, after several warnings and admonitions from me, it happened. <laughs> now, Mike, was the admonishment, you better make that pie or don't you dare make that pie? Our relationship is built on trust. And when she violates that trust by saying she's going to make a pie and then doesn't do it, she's going to get an admonition. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and why does everyone have yogurt around? Are you guys all in the pocket of big yogurt? I finished mine, and either Hank, Mike, or Josh just went to the toilet. Yeah, John, we heard. Uh, I have to say, guys, the use of the mute button throughout that last session left a little bit to be desired. I bet it was Sarah. Mike, Mike just got back from the toilet for sure. What's that? Bragging about it, bragging about his indoor plumbing. Then he flushes the thing and doesn't mute. Oh, did you just hear the flush? Yes, we got a very distinct flush there. I do have a toilet in my house. I'm not ashamed of it in any way. Nor should you be. We all have to ablute. Uh, but here's the thing, Mr. Sarah. For the first 30 or 40 minutes, you didn't look too happy. But you have steadied the ship. Mike has what I like to call Nick and Nora's infinite run good. <laughs> well, right now, Hank has the biggest stack, but he has used a rebuy, whereas you are on your first bullet. That means right now, you are the winningest player. Yeah, that's my read on it as well. Who do you have to thank for that, Mike? Uh, my own patience and tenacity. Thank you, yes. Yeah. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> what was your nickname in high school? Patience and tenacity. <laughs> That's my favorite Kurt Russell, Sylvester Stallone movie, too. <laughs> I can't, who was who again? The sequel to Cobra. Tango and Cash Out. Tango and Cash and Patience and Tenacity. Well, guys, the break is about to finish, so let's take a look at how things stand. Here's the current leaderboard. As we were just discussing, Michael Serra is out in front right now, showing a profit of 6,300. Michael Ian Black is also in the black, up almost 4K. The only other player in profit is John Hamm, up just over 1,000. Hank Azaria is in fourth, down 650. Josh Charles is in fifth, currently minus 2300 and Don is in sixth down a little over 8k well we've got an hour left guys and just because Michael Serra's in front right now doesn't mean things won't change his lead is by no means assured and Hank Don just because you've report no me doesn't mean that you can't turn things around doesn't mean you can't get back into this doesn't mean that this next hour can't all be about you I like the way you think I like the way you move I like the way you reference that song. Well, good luck, guys, and may the cards favor you for the next 60 minutes. Thank you. Love it. I think it's going to be right. Thanks, hunger, favor me. Very Hunger Games. Do you think he meant favor? Like, I can't favor everybody, right? No, he no. was talking to you, Mike. Yeah. He was talking to you. He was talking to one person. It's just up to us to figure just out wanted who. clarification. <laughs> yeah, they have a favorite. Definitely they have a favorite. They were all upstairs, you know what? Oh, it's so just you didn't read it, so I guess you're the best ever who's ever played the game. <laughs> that was a ever. cool interview. I really liked that. See, <laughs> you're such a punk. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of potty talk, let's be honest. But, <laughs> but do you live alone, Sarah? Is that why you don't close the door to your bathroom when you take a peek <laughs> no i don't live alone but i'm alone in the house right now so are you lonely though yeah in in general are you lonely i guess is what we're as a as, as a friendly table are wondering yeah on like a profound un unknowable level yeah yeah that's what i pick up from you from most of your performances there's a, a sort of a cloistered element about your uh, personality that you seem to yeah. hold it all in yeah. 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 
I enjoy it. I think it makes your performances mysterious and uh, sort of thank you. You know, inscrutable, which I like. What? Why would you call that? Yes, because I knew you had garbage, Michael. <laughs> I had an ace. That was a and great it was garbage. Call. That was a great call, and I didn't like it at all. Go ahead. I missed it. Right. What was happening? I was, I was, I was going into deep psychotherapy there for a sec. What was? We were into a thing, <laughs> and then cards kept happening. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was like reviewing a lot of things in my life there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. I liked it. I was into it. Yeah, we really basically we established that Michael Sarah seems very, very unhappy because no, of an inner unhappiness that is basically irrepressible. Yeah, something like no, that. that. That's not going to change. That's you. That's you. <laughs> it's a good thing to know. Yeah, I don't care how many people live with you. That's. That's going to be you, buddy. <laughs> but we're here for you. Th thank you. But then, but then he breaks into that smile, and you think, "Oh boy, this kid's coming back. <laughs> he's going to be, he's going to be just fine. <laughs> he's going to be all right. <laughs> he's going to be he's okay. Digging he's digging deep for something there. Yeah. You seem most alone when you're with your wife. It's weird. But I mean, just an observation. <laughs> <laughs> just a completely innocuous observation. Yeah. yeah. I just, I, don't, I mean, don't read into that. I just. Yeah, I mean, just. Now do I have nothing, Ham? No, and, and tell her not to as well. Honey, it doesn't <laughs> no, mean yeah. anything. It's just that me. was a gift, Michael. All right. I'll take it. I needed it. No more gift giving, guys. It's the last hour of a very serious charity tournament that we're all trying to win. Yeah. No more gifts. What about like one of these? Oh, you're going to put 500 in. Oh, I like it. I forgot about those. <laughs> They're called throwables, by the way. They're called throwables? Like Lunchables? They are called throwables. Yeah, similar to Lunchables. <laughs> Here, watch this. Nothing happened. Wow. wow. Josh with the limp in 7 4. Oh, yeah, he was man. like sneaky in the cut. You were hoping somebody's going to bet into you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Take that, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give him one of those, too. Yeah, take that. Physical violence. What happens if we all do that at the same time? Is it just like a major pile on? Of one, I guess. two, your, three. Your avatar dies. <laughs> <laughs> Just break the, <laughs> break the software. We didn't know they'd do it all at the same time. <laughs> stop! Wow. Tell the guys to stop! Tell the guys to stop! <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> Too many cleaners! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's major. We're yeah. having a major moment. <laughs> Guys are texting me. They're texting me. We got to stop. We got to stop the throwables. Stop throwables. They thought by putting a 30 second clock on how often you could do it, it would. They thought, oh, they, they won't thought stop it would with stop. The They're doing a uh, sequel to emojis called Throwables. <laughs> Nice hand. Ooh, I had you beat. I had tens. I should have gone. Should have stayed with that. Wow. Hey, what are your stats? How many? Uh, how many hands? How many flops have you guys seen? I've seen oh, thirty. Oh, stats. Yeah. Oh, under stats. Yeah. I've seen. Many, I've, I've seen, seen uh, forty-three flops. That's a lot. I've seen forty-one. Fifty-five percent. That's a lot. Wow. You're very active in this game. I've only seen uh, 24 flops. You're playing very well, more tight yeah, and conservative. You'd think I'd be doing better or at least less dramatically bad. Right. Mm -hmm. You're not good, I guess, is what that says. No, that means I'm not good. Yeah. It actually, that's coming up. That's what it's saying in my stretch. You are not good. <laughs> you are not good. <laughs> <laughs> 
It just says stop playing, which is weird. <laughs> no, you're just Leave immediately. <laughs> Why are you here? The actual wording is good is not a thing that you are. <laughs> Under stats, it says leave. Stat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next dad question. Ready? Ready for the next dad question? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I actually came up with these. I actually like asking these questions. Um, I'm not a dad. What, what, what comedy movie? Let's limit it to movie comedy. Did you not necessarily consider the best movie comedy, but did you actually laugh at out loud at the most? Like, what made you laugh the most when you first saw it? What, what, what era are we talking about? Like. First one yeah, you saw, or most recently? Any Dr. movie Strangler. that you in your, in your life that you, you made Dr. laugh, Strangler. laugh, made you laugh the hardest when you saw it. Uh, either Doctor Strange Love or Monty Python and the Holy Search of the Holy Grail. Yeah, solid choices. I remember seeing Borat in the theater when it came out, with like like the day it came out with the full theater of people that were just so full of anticipation for it. And that was amazing. That was such a fun experience. I, I had the same, I had a similar vibe on that. I saw it in like a packed theater in Burbank or something. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was pretty raucous. Yeah. I had that experience with bad Santa. I, that movie made me laugh. So I love that movie. The actually. Movie yeah. Me too. I've only recently seen that on, on, uh, on cable and oh. it's, it's holds up. Yeah, uh, the the, the biggest wild. reaction I've ever seen to a movie comedy movie though in the theater was when I saw uh, opening weekend uh, the South Park movie. Oh, yeah. um, mm. When the uh, it starts the and they do the sexy. opening number and whatever. No, that's uh, that's Team America. But all um, oh, right. The, um, oh dear, this got weird. Anybody have a flush? Whoo! Oh, I hate yeah, the river. I Michael Lang in the cut. Um. Anyways, the uh, when they I the the crowd because no one really knew what to expect from the South Park movie, but the crowd was so amped and live. And I saw it up in the, I was in the balcony at that theater in New York, uh, Lincoln by Lincoln Square, and uh, yeah, the uh, the dude across the aisle from me like did one of these like full belly laughs where he went back in his seat and he fell out of his chair into the aisle. Oh my god. Rolling in the like aisles. He li like, literally rolling in the aisles. I was like, I've never seen that happen, but... That's amazing. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that movie is really fun. The uh, movie that made me laugh the hardest when I saw it was Waiting for Guffman. Oh, so yeah, that's another good one. Followed closely, and I, followed closely by, and I'm not claiming this is the greatest comedy, but for some reason, maybe it was a mood I was in, but... Man, analyze this. I was crying. I was laughing so hard when I first saw that. <laughs> good jokes. Very good jokes in that movie. I just saw Christopher at Mountain Gate Country Club a couple days ago. He's a fun For dude. those of you at home, Christopher Guest is the director of Waiting for Guffman and Don is <laughs> name dropping. <laughs> One could say star. One could say star as well. <laughs> Christopher Guest. This is Christopher Guest's fourth nomination and first win. <laughs> he doesn't seem like the guy that those kinds of things would be coming out of when you talk to him. At all. Yeah. At all. He plays it very close to the chest. Yes, Best. yes. Press. Either one. Whatever. Some people have a chest. Some people wear a vest on their chests. We know what you mean. <laughs> Covering their breasts. Covering their breasts like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it right. You are doing it right. <laughs> That's how you do it. Ugh. <laughs> Guys, we have fun. I'll, I said it before, I'll say it again. We have fun. <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> oh, here's one of my favorite questions to ask people like yourselves. There are certain movies that if they're on, you got to watch them, which is an interesting list. Like 
for me, the God, there are certain universal ones, like the Godfather, right? If Godfather. it's on there, I tend to get drawn in. Matrix. Goodfellas. Matrix. Yes. Uh, but then there are ones that are particular to ourselves, and some make no sense. Like for me, if Roadhouse is on, I must watch it. <laughs> if Cocktail is on, Cocktail, I must watch it to its conclusion. <laughs> oh my God, Cocktail. Cocktail. <laughs> I have one that's kind of weird because it, 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 it is, puts me in a specific place in time in college. Um, and uh, it's uh, Patton, which is, which is a mm. three hour plus movie. It's a, it's a commitment. But I will always watch that thing to the end. A, it's really good. But B, uh, I remember watching it when I was in college. And I, I woke up early to go to class. And it had just snowed all night. There was like two feet of snow. And I'm wrestling the car through the thing to get to the class. And I finally get there. And it, there's a note on it. It's oh, like class. Wow. And I was like, all right, cool. And so I go home. And it's freezing cold. And there's snow everywhere. And I turn on the TV. And like literally it's the giant American flag and George C. Scott's like walking up the stairs and it just started. I was like, whoop, I know what I'm doing for the next three hours. And it always Patton's feels like that to me. Like, good time. Patton's a really what? good movie. How, how insane was, uh, George C. Scott was like 38 or something when he did that. He was ridiculously young to play that role. And he was unbelievable. Whoa. We got quite a hand going on. Uh, we got some action here. How many did we buy? Yeah. Slow down. Slow down, John. Slow uh, down. Slow down. I'm doing it, you guys. Let these guys oh, get in here. Oh, wow. What a hand. What a hand. Wow, John. John wow. Ham. Wow. John, John Ham. Wow. Just, wow. John Ham. You got agates. You know what I'm saying? You got cojones. Whatever. I could have. Uh, what the hell? I could have got a flush. I could have got an ace. An ace wins that hand. Yeah, yeah, I was just afraid of the A's for sure. That is, well, no question. No, it wasn't the worst call. Don wasn't even in that hand. <laughs> yeah. He still was furious. I have been rewatching you know from the beginning do. the uh, Sopranos. Oh, so, so good! good which, uh, I watched the whole very, thing in quarantine. Very good. Holds up. That's the one about the mafia, right? That's correct. Well, the mob. Okay. Okay. A lot of people get those confused. <laughs> I wish I would have won that hand, because then it would have been uh, like in Hank. better position. Hank. What are you doing? Mike, what did you have on, on that all in? Oh, I had Jack Queens. Oh. Mike, Mike one had Jackson, Mike two had Queens, right? Yes. yes. What did you have, Johnny? Uh, I had A6 uh, clubs. Chance to triple up. Oh, Hank. I think you've just crushed me here. That's a shame. That was a giant hand. Nice hand. Look at that big, club, you had, that big oh, board. Hope you had a full house. I think I should have probably folded when you raised. Yeah, you had ace king? Guys, I'm, I'm going to so, go get some more coffee. Does anybody want anything? Oh, so then maybe it was a good call in the bad river. I, I, you were, were, did you have a queen? No, no, I had a straight. I flopped a straight. Oh uh, no, it's a good call. Good call. I just, I had top pair in the call flush draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that that's what you had. Did you have two clubs? I did. I had ace king of clubs. You had ace king of clubs. Yes, sir. Okay, then I'm fine with how that went. No, it's a good call. Unlucky river. Yeah. Guys, I'm back. I got some more Welcome coffee. back, John Han. Thanks, guys. Thanks.
I could use a cup of joe myself, John Ham. Oh, something delicious. It's brown, hot, Ooh. and delicious. Just like, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Now, just hold your, hold your, hold your goddamn horses. <sighs> nice mm -hmm. Wow. Nice one. What did I miss? What happened? A lot of action. A lot of action. Yeah, this, the action's I'm picked up. I'm, uh, I'm multi -tasking. Everybody's eating. Does the, guys, this is probably a really stupid question, but it, if you do the rebuy at the end, the winner is, is it included in the rebuy? I mean, or does it not count? I don't, I'm just no, no, you sure. get no. minus like your rebuy. Like I'm, I'm actually only yeah. up 6,450, even though I got 26, because I, I, I bought in for 20K. You know it what I mean? Takes exactly. out it gets all minus. Buy in. It's your, it's your net so total. At the, at the end, at the end, it's just the net total. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. Exactly. Sarah's up, Sarah's so up no 22. Uh, right. And everybody up, else I'm except you is down. 41. And you're up. You're up 4,100. Right, okay, Everyone else you. is down because we all bought in. There's nowhere to see that though, right? We just got to – because I can't remember. No, they, they, just keep, they, just keep, there is. they just keep track of it. Although there might be in the lobby. Oh, maybe. 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 Let's see. No, no it doesn't, it doesn't say. say. Man, that's so loud. No. Oh, although in the lobby, maybe you can, you might be able to look at chip graph. I just, I just you see, share. See in the lobby, if you say where it says home, you can also chip, click chip graph. Yeah. And then you can but kind of doesn't... see people's trajectory. Oh, does it have it in there? Does it have it in there? It has a, like your Buy trajectory. But, but you can see other people's the whole thing. too. I can only see. Um, Where do you click on first? In, in, in uh, home? Where do you click first? In lobby. lobby. Go next to home. It says chip graph. Where it says chip graph. Ah, chip graph. That was my nickname. Hey, in um, school. Hank. Hank, can I just take a moment and say I, the first time I ever saw you was in the birdcage. And that's like still, I think about that performance all the time. I just, it made me that's an amazing absolutely movie. howl with laughter. It's an amazing movie yeah, so that you got to work yeah. with Mike Nichols. But you were fucking just brilliant in it. Such an that original. There's a movie that made me laugh out loud when I saw it. Really yeah. funny. It's so and, funny. Man. But mostly God, Gene Hackman. It. it makes you cry. I don't know. Yeah. Hank, Special Hank cleaning the pool and the thong was maybe one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I don't want you to go. <laughs> uh, thank <laughs> you guys. And that, is why, that is why I brought up this topic, just so you all would compliment me on that movie. And it, it took you a while to do it, so which is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but I do appreciate it. What was it like, Your Hank, working on, on the birdcage? Honestly, it was it was insane. I mean, uh, I got to know Diane Sawyer a bit. I, I can drop that name as well, John Ham. Bit then too. <laughs> Guys, I know Diane Sawyer too, so you can both relax. All right, I know. I mean, come on. Come Everybody on. knows better. Diane Sawyer. It's uh, I've been to the house with Diane and Michael. <laughs> have, you, have all of you? I don't think so. I've been to the vineyard, so just. Well, just which calm house, down. Don? Sorry. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> uh, boy. Um, I can't believe I folded the straight flesh draw to your raise and then flopped this straight and wasn't in there. I'm bad at this. I would, when uh, we would wrap, which is, that's a technical term for when you finish shooting guys, when you wrap. Oh, <laughs> the wrapping. Or, yeah. Or like a pre give oh, a wrapping gift. it up. Like, yeah. It, it, uh, um, Got it. I would stay just to sit in between Mike uh, Nichols and Elaine May at the monitor just to get stories, just to like regaled with tales of their adventures. I would love to, I would love to hear you rap, Hank. I am. No, I am. I am. Yeah, he didn't mean I, like rap. Like I'm Hank a, said, after he raps, he yeah. meant with a. He w. was talking about rapping. No, very good point though. My the rap. I mean, three, those are three uh, definitions of rap. You can finish your shooting. You can rap a present, and you can, you can, you can rhyme to music. Very, very good. Okay. 
I, thank you. I, I think that was a, lost, on pie. That was a, lo a lost schoolhouse rock, the three definitions of rap. <laughs> 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 Three I used to love that. definitions of rap. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. are. Three definitions of rap. This time you feel no, you're a man law. and a woman had a little rapper. Man. Yes, they did. <laughs> little lally, lally. Damn. Little trying rap. to make some chips, guys. I'm trying to get some chips. Damn, yo, you're calm down, it. bro. You're doing it. Yeah, take it easy. There's not a lot of time left. Michael, you go. You going all in on every hand? I love it. Pretty much, I got oh. to. He ain't skirt. Some, some it. I mean, keep in mind. You get, you get more for your charity for like third place than you do for fourth. So it's not all about you have to mm. get the VP back. Also, keep in mind his charity is the United States of America. Oh, that's Don's charity. <laughs> that's my charity. <laughs> Don't take my charity. It feels very aggressive, John, and I don't like it. Like going all in four times in a row? Yeah, John, I approve it. Michael, and you'll win. Oh, oh boy. There you go. Last oh, wow. Don't throw a four out. No Flush. spade. Wow. Ow. Ow. Wow. Man. Power. I'm not slowing down either. Can't. Keep the foot Can't on stop, the gas. Won't stop. You're not going to slow beads. down when you get aces? Okay. That's a good strategy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to slow down raising. I got to I gotta make some money. I'll just say, as the person in last place, that there's no shame in being in last place. That was unlucky. That, that was, was high I would have liked to have seen the flush come, but. Sure. Don's done. That was, that was an aggressive headphone takeoff. Yeah. So wait, Hank, you're in New York or LA? I'm in New York. I'm in Westchester. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that where you live full time? I mean, I don't want to share your personal uh, information, but is that where you it are? Is since, uh, it is since, uh, since our friend COVID has, has, has made it. What's the address? <laughs> <laughs> How's the family, am, Hank? We're all good. You know, we really, thank you for asking. Yeah, everybody's good over here. Good. Uh, yeah, we bugged out to. I'm very grateful that we we had a place in the suburbs, outside of the city, and we bugged out March 14th. But who's counting? We've been out here wow, since. Wow, really? Yeah. That lazy kid of yours get a job yet? <laughs> yeah, he's a driver. He drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a great one. I love I that. I get kid. it. <laughs> I am a dad. I have now embraced the dad joke fully. That's good. I like the dad joke. How old are your kids, Hank? Or a kid? How many do you I have? have? One Sorry. son, he is 11. One boy, 11 years old. God, I can't believe he's 11. I remember when he was zero. <laughs> yeah. You were, I think you might have played at like a big charity event at my house where he was a teeny tiny, I think, John. Right. And you as well, Don, right? Yeah. He was I about think I did. He was, four or five. He was a little peanut. Yeah. 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 That's okay. I didn't we want to all... come. That's actually totally fine. I, I didn't even want to go to that. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> wow. 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 He got you. Damn. I got Again you with the suck out. There was no suck out. It was counterfeiting. You counterfeited him. He had two pairs. No, it wasn't the eights were on the the eights were on the flop. Oh, the eights. Okay, all right, calm down. Jeez. I mean, God, John. It's again the. Uh, I uh, I had uh, the second best hand. 
You definitely That's what happens did. sometimes when you're there's only two people left in the hand and one somebody loses. <laughs> <laughs> you know you guys you guys know that that michael black and i went to camp together right we went to theater camp together is that true french yeah, woods was no michael woods? stage door manor baby we have no michael since 1983 or four wow, wow. something like that funny then is he always funny like now. this wow. is he always yes. like this very A always very coach. dark very funny yeah. defensive yeah. coach would like yeah. to wear had a real affinity for Alaskan sweater sweatshirts. Always real affinity for Alaska. Ever since yeah. I've known him, I always respected that about him. You seem like an Alaska lover. Alaska Black, they used to call me, which is weird because that wasn't even my last name at the time. Hank, you you missed his performance in the Pirates of Penzance. He was pretty strong. I really in that. did. It was, yeah, he was pretty great. He was pretty great in that. Okay, there's a question. First play all you actors on here because i know you all had you did plays in, in school i know you guys did plays in school winnie the go Pooh. ahead john john him winnie the pooh winnie the pooh yeah joseph and the amazing technicolor dream coat i can't go god i wonder what you called me with i mean whatever it was it was a good dang call but i can't i can't i can't i got oh. called nice. Oh what? my wow. god. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care anymore. How Come on, I care a little bit. Just don't care. Care, John. I don't, I don't blame you. Nah. I don't care. <laughs> I do nah. not blame you. You can't make me. I won't. Oh, I don't I won't care. care. John, which charity are you not, not caring for? USA. I'm not caring for <laughs> uh, Red Trunk. Well, I'm I'm in last place. It's not gonna it's not gonna get better. I'm what is Red Trunk? Forty thousand troops back. Red What's Trunk Red is a Trunk? is a is a an organization that my friend and I started that uh, creates a uh, thing where that people that don't know how to mute Everybody's their mics the door, get to learn how to mute their mics. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, it's like very necessary. So it's it's very niche, but it's very necessary in pandemic times. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Strange name, but it's a very good the future. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's an organization that a friend of mine uh, kind of came up with, which uh, starts, um, which sends uh, a trunk of sort of cultural things from, uh, let's say, the first one was from Oaxaca, Mexico, to schools around the U.S., where they learn about, uh, they open the trunk, it's for like uh, elementary school kids, they open the trunk, they learn oh, about the sweet. culture, then they put uh, art stuff from their culture back in and send it back, and so the 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 trunks then oh, nice. move around the world. Cultural exchange, uh, and we, cultural exchange, cultural exchange kind of deal. Yeah, so it's Beautiful. it's very cool and it's um, adorable. Anyways, I like the way you move. Mm -mm, do, do, mm -mm. Do. Damn it! At one point, I was really. I was really doing all right. Now, now I'm not. So I'm basically down 9K, right? Who? Yeah. Which I think that means your charity is going to have to pay you that money, right? Or <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well. Mrs. Carmichael. Josh. Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mrs. Ricardo. <laughs> I used to do that guy on The Simpsons, and then like ten years ago, fifteen years ago, they started giving it to Dan Castaneda. I'm like, why did I get fired off of doing the Frank? <laughs> I actually really bummed out about it.
Ooh, look at him go. He is not scared. Yeah. He likes that. Hmm. You know, I, I do. I, I do. You. I do. I know what he is. Ah. I kind of put him. Oh my Ooh. goodness! Wasn't that nice strong? Trade nice bet, John. That was strong. That was yeah. that had a lot of potential, didn't it? Low pair. And, I had a low pair, and I had a big draw. So, yeah, you did. Pair and yeah, a big draw. Did. Low pair and a big draw is uh, going to be my nickname at the old folks' home. Aww. <laughs> Somebody go change low pair. <laughs> <laughs> change that dice. Last time you had such a big draw. I don't want to. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to fool to put him on king queen. Snap. Look at this happening. Oh, big boy. hand. Oh, here we go. There here you we go. go. There you go. Oh, oh God. 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 Chop it up, chop wow. it up. Wow. Wow. That's cool. All right, guys. Wow. Well done. Uh, see, that's 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 what the, that's what everybody came for, right there. Just that. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Listen, after you bet me off that last hand, I'm not very happy with that. Oh, get over yourself. No, no. <laughs> I'm bitter. I'm bitter herbs. Doing a it's Tommy Slummy walk and talk right now. Alice and Janney's going to join me. <laughs> yep. Come on. Can I get something good in the next 15? Wait, how long is this going? We got how many more minutes? 15 minutes. 16 minutes. Uh, I only have 15 minutes to be great. It's not working out, guys. I'm just going to... Just start raising. That's what I'm going to do. You're smart. You're smart. I don't have the cojones to do that. Look at this shit. But bam. Nice. Ooh. Hank, maybe. Hank, don't call. Please, God. Please don't call. Oh, Still, he didn't call. He didn't call. Talk about a raise. He yeah, didn't he didn't call. call. Be more specific, Mike. He didn't call. Yeah. I know. That was my bad. That was a tell. That was an actual tell. That was a Dave tell. Well. <laughs> I just need two quick double ups. <laughs> Same way. Get out, out of the game. hand, Hank. Get out of the hand, Hank. Get out of the hand, Hank. You didn't even have to say that. Five nine spades any good? Five nine spades any good? Wow. Oh, we would have been going at it, John. <laughs> there he is. Turn, Turn the three back. Your way, Michael. Turn your way, Michael. Oh, oh man. Can't call it. I show, guys. I show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. yes. It's a good one to have in your head if you're going to have one in your head all day. It's not bad. Let's get a box. <laughs> Let's get a box. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the man. four people on the internet that know what that means. Laugh. <laughs> oh dear! Big John, Big John's gonna be watching somewhere, just laughing his ass off. Oh! Oh. Wow! That was a biggie. That Big was a big move. Blame I John Hammond. If he didn't pull me off his hand, I probably wouldn't have called that. I can't catch anything. Hank, had you called that, there was a very good chance that I would have hit my flush. No, you were and you would have been sure, even angrier. I, it, was, it was the incorrect. <laughs> I was ahead, technically. So, yes, you were ahead. Listen, they're, not, they're, they're not going to be kind in the analysis. In the analysis, they're not going to go. And very good job by Hank Azaria laying down the best hand there. Kudos, well played. 
<laughs> what a wonderful car right. player. They're not going to say that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I have more dad questions. Oh, okay. Here's one we've, I'm actually we've been genuinely. Those. I'm a genuinely curious about this one with you fellas. Did you guys so all the other ones always no good? Always want to be actors, like from when you were little. Uh, if not, when did you think? Yeah, maybe I do want to try that. And then part three of the question is: When was there a moment you're like, I think I can actually maybe do this? Like, not just I want to do this, but I think I actually have a shot to really do this. Like, I'm, I can I work. Show? I can. What did you have there, Black? Four sixes. Wow. Really? For real? That was a bad time for me to blush like I had a flush? Strong. I thought I was hoping you had the flush. I didn't. I think Michael Starr should answer that question first. Uh, I started when I was so little. I was like nine, and I was not, even, not thinking about a career or anything, just kind of having fun. Did some like second city so that was classes what, that was, in Toronto. And that was two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm eleven. Oh god. <laughs> too good. Too funny. Yeah, and then it just kinda just that it just kinda just kept happening. I mean I started to get jobs. I got, I went on a couple auditions and it was very validating because I was not really good at anything else. And I loved doing this, and it was so much fun. And then it just threw osmosis over the course of my life has become my whole life, and I'm happy about it. So you're like you're like the one Even child that you're, you're one of the most. You do exude yes. sadness, but apart from the sadness, you're one of the sanest, calmest, nicest people. I don't know you that intimately well, but I know you well enough <laughs> to say that you're a sane, calm human being. And yet you're a yes. child act like you're you're. Talk, talk yeah, about the exception yeah. underlining the rule. Well, I kind of, I don't know, because I know a lot of people actually that are about my age, that are friends of mine and peers of mine who also were child actors. And I would say they're all very, well, you know, doing pretty good too. I think we kind of got a little, we were kind of like a generation past the generation of child actors who had a lot of misfortune heaped onto them. <laughs> like well, also, Mike, you, know, you, had, uh, uh, you had a big, <laughs> you had a big group of guys that you kind of, like you said, you came up with, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, like Michael Angarano and Alia Shawkat and Mae Whitman, all these people that I've known since, you know, I was a kid. We, we were all, you know, we've all known each other since we were little working and, and they're all doing, they all seem very stable and happy to me. So, yeah. so I think. Where did you grow up, yeah. Michael? I grew up um, outside of Toronto. Oh, okay. Kind of in a, a suburb way it. out of the city. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the Toronto in Canada? Did you know Alice and exactly. Phil growing up or are you guys simple? Yeah, I age? did know Alison Pill. I worked with her when yeah. I was like nine years old. After we played brother and sister. Oh, oh that's awful. Well, in what? I got to see that. What is it? In a BBC television movie production called What Katie Did. Amazing. And in that industrial, yeah, you guys was did Katie. together too. Yeah. That, that Ford industrial you guys did. By the way, by the way, the, the, yeah. the, the Amazon rating of what Katie did just went up four thousand <laughs> percent. Well, it's, it was doing pretty well, I think. Last I checked, and it's just literally you guys identifying bugs, and you're like, "What Katie did, or which Katie did?" <laughs> Kate, what Katie, Katie, did Katie did? What? Katie did what? <laughs> Katie did what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about Michael's friendship second? that he formed for the Katie did, and he's a little hard of hearing. I was like, <laughs> "What Katie did? I didn't, I didn't quite catch it." Is it basically Ooh, that? What Katie did? Um. All right. So, who else would like to answer the question? John Hamm. <laughs> uh, remind me of the question. What first acting? Why actor? actor? Not, what did Katie do? <laughs> did you always want to be an actor? If not, when did you decide you might want to try it? And then when did you think, oh, I might actually, I might actually I have a I did not always want to be an actor. 
I wanted to be a professional baseball player, but then I realized I wasn't good enough. So I disabused myself of that notion. So you did the next most realistic thing. You're like, I'll just be a movie star instead. Did you, but like, how far did that dream go? Did you play in college and stuff, or how far did you? No, did I didn't, because I went to a big college, and then I just there was no way they were like a huge like baseball powerhouse. So I didn't, I didn't do that. And then I don't know, like I, my dad died. I transferred colleges, went back home, and I literally started auditioning for plays at the other college that I went to, and eventually got a scholarship to do it. And then realized, like Mike said, it was like the only thing I kind of kept getting positive feedback from. And then I was like, well, I guess I'll do this for a living because why not? And uh, and then, uh, the, uh, you know, I moved out to L.A. when I was 25 and, and didn't really know anybody and started meeting people. And it only took me three years to get a job. Is that right? Three years? You it took you three years to get a job. Yeah, three out. years of auditioning to get a to get any kind of uh, any kind of gig. Wow. Josh, you acted young, didn't you? Yeah, I started as a kid. Josh is a your manner, baby. Society. My first, the first movie was Hairspray. John Waters. I had played a hello role That's in right. that one summer. Were you? Did you get hired out of Baltimore, Josh? I, actually, no. I, even though I had met John, I, I, I was living in uh, was living in New York that summer at a friend's place, doing some auditioning, and and uh, and then um, I, uh, I I read for it in New York, and then got cast. And it was it was a local affair though, because I knew most of the crew and knew John a little bit, so it was it was fun though, fun fun thing to do. Well, we've reached the second break, guys, and that means there's just ten minutes of the game left. And Don, cool. I can come back. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of work to be done because yeah. I'm looking at the numbers in front of me and you're down around 20K right now. Yeah, yeah, we know that. <laughs> but here's where I can accentuate the positive because John Ham is down 24K. So things aren't as bad for you, Don, as they are <laughs> for John. And John, I can't really put any positive spin on your situation because <laughs> you're in last place. Uh, but Michael Sarah. Is up 27k, so yay! That's a, that's kind of a nice positive twist on it. Michael Ian Black, are you, are you are about even or are you about 10k? You have 10k, you're about I'm, even. I'm up 675, is that right? Yes. Did I buy in twice? Or? Yeah, right. not much of a profit, but the good news is your math is right. Well, let's take a look at the leaderboard and get the full standings. And Michael Serra is still out in front, up over 27,000. Hank in second place, up almost 10K. Josh in third, showing a profit of 6,700. Michael Ian Black in fourth, up 675. With Don and John in fifth and sixth, respectively, both down over 20K. Uh, well, I guess... From your perspective, John, and from your perspective, Hank, things could have been oh so different if you both hadn't had aces. If I was named Michael, I would have been so much more lucky. Also, if I had made the correct call on John Hamm, just imagine, just imagine the empire I would rule over. <laughs> that could have put you in the lead for sure. So 10 minutes to go, guys. Doesn't sound like a lot of time, but so much can happen in the wild, weird, wonderful world of No Limit Texas Hold'em. By the way, Hank, we know you are the master of a thousand voices, and I have to say, you nailed my commentary perfectly. Uh, he lays <laughs> down the ace and the knave <laughs> there to the V-Rays, Mr. Jonathan Ham. Exactly. <laughs> uh, one heart against plenty. Thank you. Okay, guys, right, we're going to leave you to it. Right. Enjoy the next 10 Thanks, minutes. And best of luck, everyone. Thank you. This is going to be great when my, my almost six-year-old comes in in about five minutes with three minutes left to play. You guys are going to enjoy that. Right. That's going to be, that's going to be a hoot. I love How many of them little ones you got running around there, Josh? I got a, a boy who's almost six. He'll be six on Wednesday, and then I have a girl who's a little over two. Ah. Congratulations, man. That's and, and, that's, and that's a wrap on that. I, I, I think uh, I'm very happy with the two. Mine are 26 and 24, so how about that? Are you serious? Deadly. Holy cow, man. I cannot believe you had kids that old. Yeah. Michael, why didn't you show us? How are they, how, they doing, Don? 
They're doing all right. They're both working actually during this time, which is crazy. Everybody's working. They did. On set. Do they act? No. Um, my daughter's a PA for Radical Media, and my other one works in the camera department. Of uh, oh, cool. she's doing a movie right now. Yeah, digital camera. Ooh, can I get my cards Mike, back? Michael Black, do you have any children? Zzz, zzz, zzz? Two. Two. Uh, 19 and 17. Ah. In good ages. In good ages. Two teenagers at once. Nice. Yeah. Michael just um, Michael just wrote a new book, guys. I don't know if any of you have, have read it, but it's pretty great. What? This book? Your book. No. Your new book. <laughs> oh, it's you wrote a Facebook book? Oh, the one that was in the New York Times uh, book section this weekend? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. One. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep. <laughs> it it, it, it came good. in that bin, cool. right? That New York Times bin. You go in the store and they're just stumbing <laughs> a bin. And you just can, like, grab as many as you can have hold Times for $10. Bin. Yeah, New York Times <laughs> bin. <laughs> is, is that related to your fatherhoodosity, that book? It actually is. Oh, cool! It is. Uh, is it, it is entitled "The Golden Man: A Mostly Serious Letter to My Son." It's yeah. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. It's a it's a book about guys, and my son in particular. Congrats! Congrats. And it's you. not about your dating life. Ooh. There, my date. My there, there's part of my dating life in there. Yeah, my both before I was married, and now that I'm currently married. <laughs> when it's really spicy. I really need to make some moves. Shove. Oh, uh, you Josh, lie. Shove, shove, shove. You're a liar, shove. Right? That's a liar. I am. I am. Is that in God the book? God damn it, I folded the, t I folded the 10 Is king and the book? seven. <laughs> See? Am I lying? Yeah. Chapter oh, this six. This is great. I'm reading it. I'm reading it now. It's great. Of <laughs> oh, Michael Ian Black. <laughs> Wow, nice hand. I enjoyed the river. Strong uh -oh. river. Did you have an ace? Oh. Are you not a strong swimmer? That when that that sketch when I first saw oh, it might have made me laugh. That's that's artist. fantastic. Nobody knows that sketch. That one's that's a I know deep that cut. sketch. It's so good. A lot not of people know that sketch. Yeah. I think that oh. was the introduction of the quirky, uh, <laughs> quirky character. Chris, yeah, yeah, quirky Saint Clair character. I'm not. Yeah, Martin Short is insanely so funny in that. Oh Do you know the, God, uh, so the SCTV man. sketch where uh, where Rick Moranis is playing Michael McDonald? Yes, that's I amazing. Know, doing a back, over the back and vocal. He kind of, he keeps running yes. in and out of the uh, out of the booth <laughs> yeah. to, to yeah. hit his like such nope. a simple joke. <laughs> yeah, and then the thing that kills he's me is when he does Michael person. McDonald's voice at the end. That's so funny. Oh jeez, Josh, if you have a king, <laughs> yeah, come on, bet into it. I'll let you there call you go. a little uh -oh. bit. Come on, wow. sweet, keep going. You got it. Oh come man, come on now, he's, throw he's it all in there. Out. It's on you, dude. Come on. Come on. This is it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Make no mistake where you are. You are. I haven't seen this sketch. But Sarah, the funniest thing about that thing, about that sketch is that he's in the middle of like an argument clearly about his contract or something. So he yeah, keeps yeah. running out of the booth to be like, and it's all yeah. in pantomime silent. And then he runs back into the booth so and hit his like, no. <laughs> Kills me. So Who good. plays Michael McDonald in it? Rick Moranis. Moranis. Oh. Oh, that's so good, man. And then at the end the when Reaper. he leaves and he does. Sorry. Go ahead, Michael. Sorry. Oh, the one with uh, Will Ferrell doing the cowbell? Yeah. Oh, Jesus good. Christ. People know that one, too. First. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's people are familiar. You guys are so mean to each other. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. I see you thinking, Michael. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I was just trying to move the slider over. You move your slider over. It's like, it's like thinking, though, Michael. <laughs> You're trying to like, well, I got to go here and like. Yeah, thank you. It's like thinking. It's akin <laughs> to thinking. It's thinking it's adjacent. Like a thinking adjacent. Computerized you know. version of it. Come on! Yeah, get him, Josh. That's Don't try right. to fucking well, bully me, bitch. Just the money tree in the two minutes that I have left. Josh, could you Damn get it. two pair there? <laughs> this is it. Make no mistake with where you are. This is it. Go and no further. Nah, nobody's got a king. Don't pretend like you do. <laughs> uh oh, queen me. Queen got it. Zer. This is it. I feel like if you get the same hand twice in a row and it doesn't win on the first time, it's gonna win on the second time. I, I, you guys, I good strategy. Yeah. Oi, up he jumps. What? So healthy bet. Oh, Mr. I mean, Biden. I, I meant what I said. Oh, I can't Ooh. lose you. Oh, oh. 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 Bingo, garbage. The suck out. I will, uh, I will be here in sixth place. Rebuy. I did. You have minutes. Good. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to shove the next four hands in a row. I don't think I we have it. four hands left. Ooh, I like that. Spicy. Ooh, I like that. All up in my cup. Spicy too. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, all good references. Let's keep all this going. <laughs> was that DeBarge? I like it. Yes, it was. It was DeBarge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's tempting. You're saying, do I like the way you cut your hair, and I like those stylish clothes you wear. It's just the little thing you do. Yes. I feel like I need to they call this. Hits. Or, or what do you need to call? All right, let's go. You don't have a choice. Josh, call. Yes. Oh, Josh, no. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh this is going to put Josh in second place. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, Yes! No, Josh is like in first, first place. I'm in first place now. Now he's in wow. first. Wow. How did that oh happen? God. How did that happen? Why would you guys do that? that? Why How would you guys happen? do that? How I'm a disruptor. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like to disrupt. I told you I was going to oh. shove four hands in a row. Wow. <laughs> but oh, I, wow. I actually had something to shove with. You wow. were just out there playing but games. Here's the question. The timing Strategically on that. speaking, what what is the right thing for Sometimes me to do? Sometimes you gotta here? wonder. Right, exactly. I'm stuck in sixth. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> no, you got nothing to lose. But do I? If I call and Hank folds. Well, you lied. You lied. You're gonna get punished because you lied. Yeah, you did lie, Michael. Yeah. You said no, you I do lie. The in the first I hand. do lie. Chapter six. What do I said you don't lie in poker. And then you lied. Exactly. Exactly. I can't do the math fast enough. Just call this. I think I think I should. Oh, oh, good luck. Whoa, this is massive. Wait a minute. Have you been trying to do math this whole time, Mike? I was just trying to figure <laughs> out, like, if I lose, how bad is it for me? Uh Oh, <laughs> not looking good. Not looking good. Wow, that's yeah. bad for you. Yeah, but John, but I John thought... can't go up. The question is, can I go catch down? You. You did go. Oh, wait, I'm in fifth now? Oh, it turns yeah, out that was a bad move on my part. Yeah, it says I'm six out of six now. John just That's flipped me by that. That's my fourth. You just got to wait to run into John. Ooh. Come on! Guys, no. Oh, you got it. There, there you go. go. Suck out. Get right back. There you go. I feel good about this hand for some reason. Don't do it. 
No, I, I did four in a row. I said I was going to do four in a row. Some of us. Down. Is this the last hand? No, don't call. I don't know. Yeah, call, 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 call. Oh, my God. Three clubs. Oh, club. No club. Club. Oh, awesome That's timing on that. Best thing. That That's was fabulous. Is that, the last, is that the last hand? Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, on the last wow. hand. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Just waiting for the final facts and figures, guys. But yes, despite the attempts of John the Disruptor Ham, it looks <laughs> like Michael Serra may have pulled victory from the jaws of defeat. Wow. I think it's going to be very close. John Ham giveth to me and Don Cheadle take away. Why'd you call that, Sarah? That was awesome. There was definitely a player X moment where Michael Sarah got mad at John and Don for <laughs> playing a huge pot with Josh. <laughs> Yeah, that was terrible. That could only hurt me. <laughs> Michael Sarah never bought in, so I mean, he never he never rebought, so he's he's he won. He clearly won. But neither did you, right, Josh? Yeah, but I but you got me. I mean, okay, guys, the tension is totally bearable. But here <laughs> we go. Oh, baby. Hold on to your seats because the final results are in. And in sixth place, we have John Ham. Now, despite the last place finish, John, that still means $2,000 for your charity. So tell us a little bit about where that's going. My charity is a wonderful charity called redtrunkproject.org. Uh, it's a, uh, a cultural exchange program for um, uh, um, intermediate school children who uh, experiment with uh, physical and um, cultural uh, products and exchange between communities and it's just getting started but it's a way for kids to learn in a real way about um, about other cultures and I think we could all uh, have a little of that these days um, but I appreciate the opportunity uh, to uh, get a little extra for them in fifth place we have Don Cheadle Don that means three thousand dollars for your charity tell us who you were playing for Blackbird Alliance. Blackbirdalliance.org is where you can find it. It's a, a group that helps, especially now, it's an online presence for women of color and allies. It's a support group. It's a networking space. Uh, you check it out. Next up, we've got Michael Ian Black in fourth place. $5,000 for your charity, Michael. Where's the money going? The only library in the United States founded by Mark Twain. Uh, you can read all about them at marktwainlibrary.org. In third place, it's our host, Mr. Hank Azaria, $8,000 for your charity. Tell us who's getting that money. Dream School in New York began as Harlem IBI, RBI around 30 years ago. I'm actually on the board. And Dream School, uh, they now have three schools in New York, um, do amazing work in underserved uh, communities here in town in, in New York. And uh, especially, especially in this crazy COVID time we're in. They do amazing work, so look it up. As far as first and second place are concerned, it did go down to the wire. Josh Charles, you made that late surge, that huge hand against John and Don, which saw you take the lead briefly. However, a second place finish and a significant profit on your starting stack, $12,000 for your charity. Who will be receiving that money? I am playing for the Actors Fund. Um, obviously, right now, so many industries are having a hard time with COVID, and uh, the entertainment one is, is 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 taking a beating, particularly here in New York and the theater community and all the people that work here. So that's going to them, the Actors Fund, which do great work in, in helping everybody throughout the entertainment industry who's in need. And in first place, our winner today, Michael. Sarah, Michael, you held on to the lead for so long. It was taken away from you with just a few minutes to go. Then that final hand made all the difference. First place and 20K to your charity. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. Good job, Michael. Good job. Thank you. Well lucky, job. lucky last hand. Well done. This is going to first responders first, which is uh, for frontline healthcare workers, helping them get kind of essentials and supplies and things that they need. Yeah, very, very exciting. This, this was so cool. 
I mean, it looked like a lot of fun to play. It was enjoyable to watch, but also there was a genuine sense of kind of uh, FOMO of, of wanting to actually be in the game as well. Uh, first of all, Hank, thanks for putting the game together. And to everyone yeah, else, thanks, thank Hank. you for taking part thank today. You, Thanks, Thank, Thank you, Hank. Thank really you so much. Happy. You're a mensch. You're a good man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It was good to see you all. No doubt. Take everybody care, everybody. Stay safe Congratulations, and, you know, Mike. Healthy and, and, and strong out there. Yeah. Well, our thanks to Hank. Our thanks to all the celebrities who played this evening. I have to say, Joe, that was a lot of fun to watch. It was a blast. Hopefully, we do it again soon because I love getting polite laughter from Hank Azaria and five of his celebrity friends. Well, I can tell you we will be doing it again soon. The next game is already booked. Booked? Nobody told me. I can neither confirm nor deny that was deliberate. For now, from Joe Stapleton and me, James Hartigan, it is good night from Hank's home game.